first of all, if you're watching this video without seeing Dyer Land, what what are you doing? What 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 are you doing? What what are you doing? What are you doing? Go get your life. Go. Go get your life and go watch Dyer Land on AMC. I'll wait. What are you still doing here? Why have you seen Dialand? You better not continue to watch knowing you have yet to watch Dialand. I warn you, there will be spoilers. Hello, stylists! Welcome back to Full Style for another video. I am so excited for today's video. Today's video is going to be another discussion video. It has been over a year since I've done one of these, and I'm so excited about the video about the show that we will be reviewing, discussing, talking about today. And it is AMC new hit series called Dietland. Oh my God! Who watched Monday's night episode? Who? Who? Raise your hand. Raise it high. Yes, I watched the two hour season premiere. I recorded it and I did watch it again last night and this morning before filming this video because that shit is so freaking good. If you have no idea what am I talking about, what are you doing? What are you doing? Dietland is a hit new series on AMC that's based off of the novel Dietland, where it is the character surrounded by this character named Plum, who is a plus size. Oh, who is an overweight plus size woman who writes for a popular woman's magazine who literally is seeking weight loss and actually trying to lose weight to get weight loss surgery who is just in this hate self hate no yeah self hating depressed spiral of a circle more day going around and around but I'm getting ahead of myself I'm getting ahead of myself because I just you know it's just it's so much into this show the show is not just so, let's get into the deets. Um, first of all, off the back, I love the um the beginning credits. Again, if you have not watched this, then what are you doing? Crystal, I'm talking to you. If you're watching this video, Crystal, without seeing Dialand, I I I would never cook for you again. Anytime I cook, no matter what it is, I would not invite you over. And anytime you call me, I'll tell you I'm not cooking anything. And it'd be something good. I could make baby bop again. I could make my own pizza. I'm thinking about making shrimp and grits, but you'll never know because I'm not gonna tell you because you didn't watch Dialand. And I know you'll know. I know you'll watch because I ask questions that won't be in this video. Ha! <laughs> Anywho, guys, so starting off the back, the video starts with a montage of young girls right into Daisy Chain. Daisy Chain is like, let's say, no, I don't want to put a bad mouth on any other magazines, I read. But it is a very popular wom woman's magazine in this world that Dialand has created. And the young lady, um, it starts off with just a montage of young girls and very dark imagery of young girls covering black um, black eyes with concealer, pulling at their barely their skin fat, pulling at their barely their stomach fat. We're not going to go to that. And it's just a dark exposition about how, you know, my boyfriend, you know, tried to make me have sex when I didn't want to. Is it wrong to do this? I feel like I want to cut myself. I need to do something before I kill myself or kill somebody. I'm ready to die. Very dark but powerful montage of young girls right into Daisy Chain and seeking help to the editor. So basically the main character Plum is a um, writer for the magazine where she responds all the letters to the editor that be that's being received, you know, that's being sent off from these young girls. And I really do like I call it I call it the um the dark harsh um self hate montage that just comes at you full force like right off the bat it's like no bars holes this is what we're talking about um going into the self um there's we get the first shot of uh plum and she's like getting i guess getting ready for the morning she walks into her bedroom and first thing i notice not the first thing i notice but the first thing that sticks out to me and maybe the whole cast of character is that her full lift mirror is covered up 
and the only parts that's shown are from like the shin down the only mirror that's not covered is the mirror in the bathroom so that means she does not like looking at her body but she is clothed or not the second thing i noticed is that she wear all black and she put on excessive layers. I think it's probably fall, winter time in New York. So it's a little cold. But she is all black. Like literally they showed a shot of her closet. All black with like a little Cinderella of like maybe some dark reds. And I mean like burgundy dark red. Like blood red dark. So she's not the very confident, self-love, confident, outgoing bold person off the back we can already tell that's from her and her her life seems very routine how she go from here to here to here to here um she gets ready get everything out she leaves her bedroom go into the living room put on the tv chop up some vegetables and get them all organized in little trays and that seems for some reason to give her some pleasure i don't know because she has a little smirk on her face i don't know what that's about but chopping up vegetables if i'm not going to put them in a pizza a sauce or um in a salad don't really you know give me pleasure Ooh, salad i'm making a salad today anywho I'm carrying on, I'm carrying on. Um, all her clothes, like I said, are loose fitted, black, just basic. I would die. Oh god. Anywho, she um uh, she's taking she's taking some medication called Y, and I thought it was just a typo, it was just funny, but people will refer to it later on in the show as Y. She's taking Y, and I like how the medication, I think it's like an antidepressant, um, as it is referred to as um it's called why and i'm thinking maybe it's called why because it's like why the fuck are you taking this <laughs> i don't know i don't know for anybody who's on antidepressants i am not just that that was funny not antidepressant pills not funny at all not even a little bit i progress i digress though um I love, we get glimpses of her, like her thought process and she's talking about how her life seems like a maze or like a diagram, how she just go up and around and everything is five blocks away from her house. Her weight, weight watcher programs, the cafe where her best friend is at and she goes sometimes and then um, something else. It's everything is just five blocks away from her house. She doesn't really go outside of her comfort zone. I liked how the imagery they gave her of her whole thought process when we get to see inside Plum's thoughts. I love the artwork and the art aesthetic of that. It's very dark, gloomy. Here comes the fun part. Uh, she she has a gay best friend who has a who owns a cafe who has a dog i love their little friendship he's very struck very straightforward and blunt with her he calls the weight loss surgery she wants stupid she says it's very dangerous noticing there's something about her she walks around with her head down uh, afraid to make eye contact with anyone she walks around like a victim and anybody who looks like a victim is a victim but a victim of what we don't know a victim just of self-hate of the world fat shaming her and talking about her uh it's very sad if i seen someone like her on the street i would want to go up to her and hug her and tell her she's beautiful i have actually done that to before talk to girls on the street and tell me beautiful but that's not the point um she like i said she's a, a writer for a very popular magazine where she absolutely answers letters to the editor her job is very unmo unmotivated depressing job that has that should be meaningful and inspirational but the person that she's supposed to be is the opposite of you know opposite of what she you know what she is and we'll get into that in a bit uh, later um oh the person i want to talk about most the person who i think is the most toxic the most toxic person in Plum's life is the weights watcher person who t helps her, takes her, um, you know, imagine her weights and it's like supposed to be like a counselor. She says the most unhealthy, unhelpful stuff just right off the bat. Nothing encouraging, motivating, like, and it's always, and if she does, it's always a double-edged sword. Um, she's a smaller girl, has a little curve to her. But a little smaller girl and it's just so just uh i wanted to i wanted to strangle the girl within the first 30 seconds of her opening her mouth i was like she's the worst and i think plum realized that but plum is too quiet and too meek and even though she has a lot of sass to her like the interaction she had with her best friend she's a little sassy she can go there but around other people she's just quiet head down and 
Hmm. And like the way she looks and says something to the, I don't even remember the girl name. I don't even know if they gave her a name. Um, you could tell that she's like, yeah, great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it's just, but she doesn't say it. I would be like, bitch, what the fuck? Y'all don't, y'all know I curse. Don't mad at me. Okay. So, um, so going into the Waste Watcher um, group, if you guys have ever been to those, raise your hand. I have. Um, you sit around. It's like it's a support group, so you sit around and talk about everything and the scene. Um, and it starts off with a miserable-looking, smaller, skinnier woman in a jogging suit sitting there talking about how she does this, she does that, she does this, and the and the scale just doesn't move. I need it to move. And then the Weight Watch program leader, whatever, says some more unhelpful shit. And then at this point, I wanted to talk about how this skinny girl was sitting there talking about she needs to lose weight. I'm looking at her like, what? But we're going to get into that. Then walks in my favorite character. And I pray to God we get more of this character. Because whoever wrote her and then just didn't use her, oh, torture. Makes sense for torture. In walks Janice. And she is this big girl coming in. Excuse me. Sorry I'm late. I hate the bus. She has her legs out. Mind you, I think I said this. I think... I told you it's like, I, I believe I told you that I think it's like late fall, early winter in New York around this time frame. So she has on tights, she has on this skirt that's bold and colorful. Then she had on one of the Eloquy button up tops, the one that I tried on in my first Eloquy of uh, fitting room fit room video with all the cameras on it and then like a fur a little crop jacket over it everything is color 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 pattern so cute so fun and she just had this energy she's like i'm sorry i'm late i hate the bus and she sits down oh i'm janet first time sorry she's like, oh yeah please continue and then the skinny girl continues to talk about how she needs to lose weight her husband this and this and janet's like what fuck your husband you she's like oh you losing weight Jenny said something like, but she's not, she's skinny. She doesn't lose weight. And the person is talking about, well, that's how she, you know, that's what she wants. She's like, I need to lose weight for my husband. This is the skinny girl talking. And Jenny was like, your husband? Are you doing it for your husband? Which, by the way, ladies, gentlemen, losing weight for anybody else other than yourself is never going to give you the results you want. You have to lose it for yourself, which is why... I am the way I am now because I have yet to lose it for me. And at this point in my life, I'm perfectly okay with that. Now, I need to get toned up, get it right. But that's not the point. So, anywho, the, the, the Weight Watchers person was, wait, I'm sorry, Waste Watchers person, copyright, you know, one of issues. Waste Watcher person was talking about how that's how she wants to see herself. That's why we're here. And Janice was like, excuse me? She was like, I, she was like, I love myself, right? No, she said something else. And then the Weight Watch, it kind of caught the Weight Watcher person off guard. She was like, well, uh, 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 Plum, tell our philosophy. And the camera zooms to Plum, who's across the circle. And he's like, well, we don't come here because we feel good about ourselves. We come here because we're ready to feel good about ourselves. And she's like, yeah, right. And the Janice is like, what the fuck? She's looking at the waist for the first time. So I love myself. Like I'm, I'm good. And the <laughs> and uh, the Weight Watchers person is like, Ugh. like yeah, right, please. And she, Janice is like, oh no, she jumps up. Oh no, screw this. I came here because I needed to lose the weight because I had a few back problems. But screw all this ass sucking. Like this is ridiculous. She's like, I'm a freaking unicorn. I'm a freaking unicorn. I'm a freaking unicorn. I'm a goddess. Peace out. And then she, and the same time she's like walking away and Janice is like, not Janice, Plum is like captivated by her like, oh my God. Like literally turned around and she's like, oh. and she's like, I get so much hot penis. It's ridiculous. And you can see that this bothers and like catch the, um, I don't know about everybody else in the group, but Janice is captivated. It extremely bothers the the waste watcher leader person thing and she like just goes she picks up something off the floor and sits down and she's like just so sad so much denial right like and and plums like yeah mm -hmm. denial no 
that was a true person out there who for real for real like the entire program like they zoom the camera they spin the camera around at the beginning of the scene showing all the people there and people are sitting there just sad and depressed like even the skinny woman she like she hasn't slept in days she's like she ain't doing nothing with her hair she in this jogging suit talking about she need to lose weight because she has to look good naked she has to good look good look naked because her husband wants her to good look what come on you know what I'm going too far let me let me let me let me continue let me continue you know this scene just shows that there was different there's different forms of body modification even a smaller person cannot form truly even a smaller person can hate their body and want to change something body. they can look in the mirror and see a fat person and they're actually skinny and that's when you know people have like eating disorder and all the other stuff um i thought that was really interesting note to to bring up slightly and i hope they bring bring that more on into the show and i'm really interested to see if that's in the one thing i did thought was a little something i wanted to hit on and something i used to do but i don't do no more is she brought a red dress and this is something you would call your gold dress what you're going to wear when you lose weight but this dress was at least 10 sizes too small and she um even like when she was watching talking to her waist Watchers person, she was telling some your thinner person, your thin person is just ready to get out. I don't think every big person needs to be thin or should be thin. Some people are born to be a big person. And not necessarily when you lose weight, you're going to become thin. You're still going to be curvy. You're still going to have hips and ass. Your breasts may be a little bigger. You're not just going to just be this super thin supermodel that's unrealistic to think about and i think it hits on a very good a very good note that some girls some big girls honestly believe that they're meant to be thin it makes me think of fat girls where monique said that as soon as she gets her size six and the guy that she was talking to the african doctor guy told her that your body is not meant to be a size six um and you know it's just it's not some people can go from a size 20 to a size eight to a size you know 12 or 10 but them getting to a size six that that's probably harmful it's definitely probably harmful for them and i like how um they they brought it up but i can't wait to the day that somebody actually be like okay you know that's unrealistic it's not gonna happen you know like you're not gonna lose that much weight right a size yeah no um her dreams whoa this her dreams will drive the happiest person crazy. Like, they are dark and twisted and what the fuck is that about? She's obviously hungry. She's hungry. And she says this to the waist white person. She was like, I was angry because I was hungry. And I was angry because I was hungry. Because I, she, I guess she felt like she shouldn't be hungry because she ate. But she talks about how her stomach is always empty. And she's taking the pills to just make her feel nauseous. And again, the Weight Watch person says some very unhelpful shit. And then she even talks about another another client of hers that lost so much weight that has so much, you know, excess skin. That she said, the, the lady said that she looked like a flying squirrel. And then the Weight Watch person goes on to mimic that and laugh at it. Don't let me catch out in the street. Um, she does have seem has she does seem have one joy in her life. Her best friend kind of like blackmails her or begs her into baking for them at his um cafe, and she does it. You can tell it really likes just bring joy to her. She has a scene with another character. I do not remember his name. I think it's Steven. Evan. I don't remember his name. And uh, where he's like, uh, oh my God, it's Plum's Day to beg. And she was like, can I have one? She's like, yes, you know, I made you extra. And he comes in like, this is amazing. And she starts baking. She had this moment talking about how she didn't want to work what she's working and do what she wanted. She wanted to be a journalist or a baker. And she's like, she's really good. It's not just like a home bake. Like, it's like professional, almost professional level. And she gets into it where she just zones out and she just sings and bakes. And the guy is like, not far away, he hears her. And you can really tell that he's like, oh. Like, she sings, she bakes, marry her! You know, at that point, like, he's a little smitten by it, you know? I see you, boy. I see. And he's a kitty, too, so hi. Um, she wasn't very aware of things, how her, uh, her body was just a placeholder, a placeholder to move her head around, and she misses a lot, and she really doesn't. Um, she misses the niceness of the guy that works at the, her best friend's bakery. 
she assumes things about um there's this, this detective character that he only wants to screw only wants he only wants to screw her and he only wants to screw her because she's fat as if like a fat fetish which is a thing i have experienced that um and it's not kind at all um that's another story for another time you guys take notes on all the stories i gotta tell you and you let them down in the comment section so i can remember um and the detective i don't think he was coming at her from a sexual point of view i think it was just curiosity um i think it was just you know friendliness and she just said i know guys like him he they school women like me but they were married women like and in comes the editor-in-chief the her boss which is kitty the lady that she's supposed to be pretending to be when she answers the letters that are sent to the editor and she is tall slim redhead but she is the worst oh my god wicked stepmother and evil queen in one she's terrible she has some also insecurities like for real for real and she like pushes everything on like like, like Kitty is everything a self-hating, uh, depressed fat girl hates in a woman. How I have no idea when my camera stopped recording, but I'm going to talk about the weight loss thing. She there, she has an appointment with her doctor, and her doctor was like, you know, um, you need to lose more weight. And she's like, I have been losing just gradually. And he's like, well, you need to do this, you need to do that. And then there's a montage of her as a child starting like with the like the little wasting that went around your butt and your waist that used to vibrate belt and how she used to eat raw veggies and green teas and she put some ram wrap around herself and she did the paleo diet and all this other stuff and she talks about she tried everything and the only thing that actually that nearly that only worked and nearly killed her was the baptist baptist diet which is a, um the name of the person who lost weight within a year and started like a health clinic and everything and um which is kind of like the catapult into the show we'll get in they'll get into that later if you watch the show you already know what i'm talking about um and how i myself saw myself in that trying everything pills weight watchers all that other stuff different diets and exercises just to lose weight and nothing works like you lose a pound two pounds but nothing significant and um that was real relatable for me that really touched home and then also the callousness the coldness of her doctor and how he was just like and she was saying something because it's like maybe it's time for you to choose a new religion and that's when the montage happened and and he was like well i can't improve the surgery until you lose 15 more pounds and it's like damn bruh no words of encouragement, no no nothing, no advice, just lose the damn weight. And it's like some doctors are like that. It's just like I don't care about your excuses. I don't care what you have or have not done. I don't care how much you how hard you try. I need you to try harder. And that's really hurtful and harmful for someone who's doing it, maybe for the wrong reasons or not. It's just just get it done. And I experienced that same thing with the doctor who well, he wasn't my doctor. It was the doctor that was doing the weight loss surgery and it was just like I don't care you lose okay you lost the weight you lost a pound you lost three pounds you need to lose more weight I, you lost four pounds you gained a pound you need to lose more weight i have more compassion and understanding from the nutritionist that i was seeing that time to help me with my weight loss and it was like i, I bring in everything i would write down keep track of everything i was eating and she was like okay i like that that's good okay how about we try this instead of that yes this and this and that and i was working out i was swimming and all that type of stuff and back and forth my weight would flush up and it, and it just and he, he didn't care it was like just he was just like lose the weight just lose weight i don't care how you do it just get it done because i'm not gonna do the surgery unless you do it and it's like that is very harmful this is very harmful for someone and this is the person that's supposed to be cutting up cutting open my stomach and making it smarter what I'm so glad I didn't get that weight loss surgery. So glad. Really, really glad. But that is a story for another time. Um, so yeah, that was that's like I didn't I don't want to give you guys too much sound bite of play by play by the episode by play by play of scene, you know, scene by scene and everything, because I don't want to make this video too long. But I I just wanted to give you guys like a little tidbit. So, my overall thoughts on the show, everyone needs to watch it. 
everyone everyone that struggles with eating disorder everyone that struggle with mental illness depression everyone that struggle with you know weight loss whether you lost the weight whether you're losing the weight whether you want to or need to lose the weight i think everyone needs to see it i really think it's very insightful and it talks it it also just don't talk about weight loss they also talk about sexual harassment men misogyny they talk and it, and it seems like they're gonna be hitting on a lot of different topics over the seat over the season and i'm really really excited for this show for where it's gonna go and how hard hitting and guttural is that the word guttural that they're going to get like this show is going to get it gets dark towards the end um shit get real um there's a, there's a little bit of violence uh but wow this show is so freaking good the first three scenes and i was like bruh who life is that bruh who? jesus mm. like i i myself don't see myself as plum i see myself more as a janice and i that's why i really wish janice was in this character i want plum to have a janice in her life i want plum to have a janice friend i hope she gets a Janice friend in this area or Janice become her friend. But there are similarities to Plum's background story in certain ways, in certain, you know, certain things she's said or she has done that I can relate to that I've seen in my own life, especially about, you know, trying to lose weight since she was a kid and being put on pills and all that type of stuff and uh, wanting weight loss, well, getting, trying to get weight loss surgery and all this stuff. Uh, because the difference between her, me and her is I didn't want the weight loss surgery. She actually wants it, but that's not the point. Um, I can see the similarities and I think any other girl who, and man who struggle with body imagery and eating disorder and depression and mental illness can relate to tad bits here and there and i really think it's really informative and i cannot wait to see what else the other topics and stuff they explore on outside of plum and her world but i just i if i saw plum on the street i would just go up and hug her i really think it's a heart hitting show and i'm really excited to see something like this on tv and i feel that plum doesn't have the self-love and the self-care and it 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 really surprised me like she's that she's able to just you know the way she walks around on the street, bro, it's dark. She looks dark. Her aura, that's that I read auras. But the way that they show her walk, like she walks down with her head down and she just, like, as somebody walked past her, she's like, not really looking at them, but looking at them because she's scared they're going to just, like, jump out and say, hey, fatty, what's up? You know? And that does happen. Some people do harass her on the street, you know, to make fun of her. But it's not people talk about me on the street i'm not saying she's me but i'm just saying like if i walk around like that i'll never be able to see the pretty things that are in life to enjoy the small things to enjoy life because i'll be so scared of someone's going of what someone is going to say about me or someone is going to do i won't be able to enjoy life because i'm worried about what other people would do or think and that's unfair to you that's unfair to anyone to be afraid of what other people want to do or say you would never be able to truly enjoy life because you're too afraid to enjoy life so yeah do <laughs> would i recommend the show hell fucking yeah give that bitch two thumbs up excuse my language but that's how i feel show's good as hell Woo! Mm. yes anywho guys i'm gonna let you guys go because i have to finish packing anywho guys i'm gonna let you guys go i really recommend you guys go out and watch dialand if you haven't watched it again, Crystal, I am talking to you. If you watch this video all the way through without seeing Dying Land, our friendship is not over, but it's, oh, I'm not cooking for you. I'm not going to tell you when I'm cooking. I'm not going to invite you over when I'm cooking. When you call me, I'm not going to let you come over. I'm not going to open the door. Ha, have a fat. Anywho, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. Watch Dying Land. Share with me your thoughts 
and comments down below about the episode about the show as well as this video i would love to hear from you guys get a discussion going what you guys did you like it did you hate it did you find it relatable what 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 i know this video is probably gonna be like 30 minutes long and i apologize for it but i had shit to say so anywho guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for liking commenting sharing thank you so much for entering the 2000 2000 subscriber giveaway i really appreciate you guys ah. I love you guys so very much. Thank you so much for joining the Full Style family. I love you guys, but always remember to love yourself fully. Until next time.